What's up guys, welcome back to Card Spot. My name is Ethan and today we're kicking right off into it. We have something pretty awesome. A full case of Magnificent Mavens. So there is five cards per pack. We have about, how many packs? Six times eight, 24 times eight, 192 packs if my math is correct. <laughs> um, to rip into here, oh, a golem token. Um, so we're not gonna waste any time. There is plenty to get into. This obviously introduces the Shizu Ishtar cards. Uh, oh, totally awesome. And has some really good reprints. Hayate, so basically all of the Sky Striker cards are reprinted. Um, you have the Shizu cards, you have all the Sword Soul cards, you have new cards um, for the Sky Strikers, and just getting a reprint. Uh, you have pharaohs rares i mean it's it's all <laughs> it's all happening so i'm very excited to see what we can get pendulum call was a much needed reprint icicle mayakashi doom dozer for your insect decks witchcraft is getting reprint as well so far nothing amazing but there is some really good reprints in here lightning storm impermanence aileron is one of the new uh which which ah, sky striker cards not witchcrafter Cerberus getting a nice reprint there. Um, and then random foil versions of a couple of Therian cards. Um, I don't really understand. <laughs> Expand Change of Despair and Hope. Whoopsie daisy. This is one of the new cards as well, which is pretty cool. Witchcrafter, Confusion, Confession. This is one of the foil Therian. Cerberus and Heijin, the winged Mayakashi. Um, Mayakashi is getting reprint as well. I'm not too sure on the lore of this pack, if there is any. Um, but, oh, Appaloosa, that's a good reprint. We will chuck that in the sleeve, because chances are that will be worth something nice. we got Witchcrafter, Vice Madame, Shark Cannon, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror is a good reprint, Dragon May Changeover. So I'm not too sure what the value of some of these cards are going to be. Um, at the time of recording, the, you know, the values are sort of all over the place, so it'll be interesting to see what they settle down at. So any prices you see on the screen, take them with a grain of salt. Ice Dragon's Prison, oh, about time, Butuna for Princess got a reprint. Um, Ice Dragon's Prison is a nice reprint as well. Well, it wasn't too expensive after the tins last year. Evenly, that's a nice reprint. I personally want that. That is going in a sleeve. We got the Supreme Sovereign Chen Ying, Kagari, and a nice ultra rare printing of Mizuki. Mizuki still had a really high price tag for, you know, the amount of reprints it's had. It, it was still kind of, Oh, Agito, the Ancient Sentinel. There's our first Ashizu card. That's awesome. These are apparently quite hard to pull, the Ashizu cards, so we will take that. We got Gravekeeper's Trap, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Therian Duke, and Sword Soul Aspis. So we will take all of those Ashizu cards that we can get, please and thank you. And any Pharaohs rares that want to come our way as well. We've got another Edo, we'll sleeve that up. I'm not doing very well at putting these cards down. They're kind of sticking to my hands. Legendary Ocean, finally getting a foil reprint that's really well deserved. It's been around for a long, long time without having a foil reprint. Um, we got Change of Heart, which is nice to see. I kind of thought that might get an ultimate rare reprint, but that's okay. Chi Shao, Exchange of the Spirit, Sword Soul Aspis, and Therian Bull Ain. So there doesn't seem to be any kind of rhyme or reason to the placing of the good cards in these packs. They can be in there. Ludora, the Sword Oracle. That's another of the new, um, Ashizu cards, so that's awesome. We'll put that in the sleeve. We're getting them thick and fast. Cyber Rev System. Widow Anchor, a much needed reprint. Not going to try and say that and exchange of the spirit there is some interesting like foil upgrades of cards that really were pretty recent came out in dimension force um another sky striker token we've got zeke we got ducky we got hero lives and goes and match which is also a needed reprint because the foil versions of those were like what would that be in us dollars like 18 maybe somewhere around there Gravekeeper's Trap, number 93 Utopia Kaiser, Sword Soul Strategist Long One, Metal Reflex Slime, and A Hero Lives. I think the Gravekeeper's Trap might be worth something actually, so I might start sleeving those up as we go. And to Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous, that's a really nice reprint. Into Ice Dragon's Prison, that kind of looked kind of looked different to me for some reason. Heijin, the Winged Mayakashi, Non-Fusion Area, and Beruru at Ignista. 
on to the next pack. So there's Triple Tactics Talent, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, Yata getting a, a reprint after it was unbanned, Harpy's Feather Duster with the old art, which is also really nice, DD Savant Keeper, Entis, and Riliona, the Magistus of Vare. Will we get a Pharaoh's Rare? So I have never pulled a Pharaoh's Rare, number 93, Ghost Meets Girl, Ambulo Melides, I think, Ray and Vampire's Ghost. Um, so I would be super down to pull a Pharaoh's Rare or two from this. And we have 192 packs, so hopefully we can. Yuki Ona, Ghost Meets Girl, Butuniful Princess, Non-Fusion Area, and Sword Soul Secret Summit. These cards look nice and crisp, I must say. I don't know. Feels just... The, the, the foiling seems fairer. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, that's pretty nice. I might sleeve that up, because that will probably be worth a little bit. Another Incredible Ecclesia, a DD Savant Keeper again, Light Imprisoning Mirror, and Butuniful Princess. If anything, I feel like the good card is on the front, um, because we've had a few Ashizu cards on the front. Dragon Necro near the Soul Dragon, Witchcraft of Vice Madame, Mizuki, Sky Striker Engage, and Instant Fusion getting another nice foil reprint, which is always good. Instant Fusion seeing a lot of play right now with T Element. Uh, we've got Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon, Witchcraft Agini, Mayakashi Return, Sword Soul of Tyre. Alright, we'll start picking up the pace here now that we're starting to see a few doubles of things. Exchange of Despair and Hope, Infinite Impermanence, that's worth a sleeve, surely. Imperm is a really nice pull. Secret Village of the Spellcasters seeing a bit of play, so is Anti-Spell, and Dark Calling. On to the next one. Pharaoh's Rare, can we get... We got Keldo, the Secret Protector, that's straight in the sleeve. Um, another of the new Shizu cards. Ice Dragon's Prison, Vampire's Curse, Dark Calling, and Scapegoat, getting a, another foil reprint. So, our Dark Queen Blast case opening will actually be next week. I figured since it's late, I'd rather open up the Magnificent Mavens actually in some kind of relevancy to when it's released, actually on time. Um, so Darkling Blast case opening, if you want to see that one, will be next week. Um, and spoiler alert, it's worth watching, if you know what I mean. Uh, Galaxy Eyes, Afterglow Dragon, Surgical Striker, Hemp, Sword Soul Auspice, Therian Bull, and Widow Anchor there. On to the next one, so I can basically build a Sword Soul or a Sky Striker deck if I wanted to. I guess with Sword Soul... Um, you do need the... What's the synchro? Baron de Fleur. Uh, Blast Held by Destiny. Witchcrafter Confusion Confession. Scapegoat. Sword Soul Sacred Summit. And Witchcrafter Hang. Next pack. We got another Evenly. I'm just leaving it up. I'm loving it. Sky Striker Ace Zeke. Pretty Plant Ambulum Hades. Extended the Spirit and Mizuki. So I feel like those good reprints are at least on the front. I think we've had a, a Shizu card in the middle of the pack. Sword Spell Moye, that's actually a really good reprint. Chuck that in a sleeve. Moye was like a reasonably expensive card. Pendulum Call, Instant Fusion, Anti-Spell Fragrance, and Sword Soul Strife. Interesting Anti-Spell getting a reprint just after it got a reprint in Tactical, Ma yeah, Tactical Masters. Cyber Rev System, Aileron, Cheng Ying, Ducky, and Foolish Return. Don't be foolish about your returns. Okay, into Ghost Meets Girl. Calbat, the Ancient Vanguard. We'll take that and sleeve it. Very nice, one of the new Ashizu cards. Sky Striker Engage, Instant Fusion, and Gesha Dokuro. Alright, next pack. Let's see what's hiding in here. We got a Skelly. That's getting the sleeve. Skill Drain is very nice. We got the Sword Soul Emergence, Engage, Magician's Restage, and yeah, Kicks, Kicksing Long One, maybe. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Uh, yeah, apologize. Yuki Ona, the Icicle Mayakashi, Aileron, Chaos Hunter, getting a reprint is really nice. Chinging, and Ducky. Okay, next Pecaruni, Witchcraft of Vice Madame, Incredible Ecclesia, Foolish Return, Engage, Magician's Restage, and that's the end of the pack. Where will the Pharaoh's Rare be if we pull one? Will it be the front or the back? Soldier of Chaos, that's actually pretty decent. Oh, and behind him, a Lightning Storm. Who would have thought? Beautiful. Finishing the pack, we got the Kigari, Nightmare Cerberus, and Witchcraft of Creation. That was a great pack. 
those are two really solid reprints there. We'll take that all day. Uh, Ice Dragon's Prison, Yuki Under the Icicle Marikashi, Kixing Long One, Legendary Ocean, and Shidanui Solitaire. Carrying on the fun. <laughs> Ghost Me Scale, Blue Eyes of Mist Dragon, I'll sleeve in a second. Long One, Metal Reflex Slime, and Hero Lifts. I'm learning my lesson, see? I'm sleeving as we go, well, kind of at the end rather than as we go, so that it doesn't necessarily spoil something like that Lightning Storm. Okay, Incredible Ecclesia, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, Kixing Long One, Entus, and Multi Roll. Good reprint on the Entus as well. I hadn't had a reprint since um, Magnif Mag Magnificent Gold? Magnificent Gold? Black Lost Soldier, Linkage, Magician's Restage, Oni Bimaru Soul Sweeper, and Witchcrafter Hand. M maximum Gold, that's it. <laughs> Intus hadn't had a reprint since Maximum Gold, which was two years ago, nearly, so. The Iris Sword Soul, Witchcraft of Vice Madame, Gesha Dokuro, Legendary Ocean, and Cat Shark getting a much needed reprint, although not so playable now, now that they've uh, gone and banned Toady Boy, Ronin Toad and Dragon, Necron of the Soul Dragon, Exchange of Spear and Hope, Doom Dozer, Hayate, and Witchcraft of Creation. We are sauntering our way down here with Zeke, Ghost Meets Girl, Non-Fusion Area, Sword Soul Sacred Summit, and DD Savant Keeper. If I recall correctly, I feel like Savant Keeper came out in Ghost from the Past 2, in which case it already had not reprinted. Anyway, we got Nagita, we'll take it. Oh, I've ruined it again with a Triple Tactics Talent hiding right behind it. Very, very nice. Um, a Legendary Ocean there, Shirinari Solitaire, and Long Yuan. I really gotta stop doing that. If we get a sleeve, something to sleeve, we gotta put it at the back for the time being, I think. All right. Sky Striker Ace Zeke. Mudora, the Sword Oracle. We'll sleeve that in a second. Medical Reflex Slime, Hero Lives, and Kick Sing Long One. So we'll sleeve up the Mudora and jump into the next one. All right. We got Millennium Eyes Restrict. That's worth a sleeve. Pendulum Call, Dark Soul Token, Shiranui Solitaire, and Chaos Hunter there. Chuck this bad boy. This is a really good reprint as well. I had no business being like, well, it was about $70 New Zealand, so that what is that? Probably like 35 ish Oh, Appaloosa right off the bat, and Abyss Dragon. We will sleeve both of those two, Heijin, Therian, and Shizuku. Um, probably about 30-ish, yeah, US um, for Millennium Eyes Restrict, so good to get that reprinted on to the next pack all right we've got another Zeke an imperm we'll sleeve that secret village Onibimaru soul sweeper and nightmare phoenix the imperm can jump on in a sleeve there into the next one witchcrafter sky striker ace token sword soul blackout getting the foil guinea and huh huh He's got two blackouts in the same pack. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel a little ripped off, but, <laughs> but okay. Keldo, the Sacred Protector. We'll sleeve that up. Boral Sword Dragon getting a nice reprint. Savant Keeper. Light Imprisoning Mirror and Beautiful Princess. Let's get Keldo there in a sleeve. On to the next one. <clears throat> We've got Trap Tricks Sarah, Exchange of Despair and Hope, Witchcraft of Guinea, Mayakashi Return, and Sword Soul of Tyre getting a rarity bump as well. I think Tyre was the super rare. Uh, Imperm will get a nice uh, sleeve, Sword Soul Strife, Therian Bull, and Cerberus. Chuck Imperm in there. Getting some nice solid reprints here, which is really nice. Onto a pendulum call, Skilly Drain will sleeve Secret Air, uh, Village, Anti Spell, and Dark Falling. My brain just stopped working there for a moment. I do apologize. Next, Packeroony. Oh, butchered this one. Okay, whoa, New Dora can get a sleeve. Bastard by Destiny, Shizuku, Long One, and Dark Calling. I think I keep holding the cards too low, so if I'm cutting off the bottom of them, I ap apologize. On to Ace Token, Zeke, Sword Soul Strife, Bull, and Cerberus. That's a bit of a nothing one. 
Now these packs also come with sleeves. So in every box you get a pack of sleeves and four packs of cards. Iris Sword Soul, Heijin, Non-Fusion Area, and Bururu. Oh, destroyed that one. See ya. Uh, Ice Dragon's Prison, Surgical Striker, Hemp, Sky Striker, Ace Ray, Light Imprisoning Mirror, and Boo Woo Woo. Alright, Yadagarasu, Harpy's Feather Duster, Heijin the Wing Rank, Ashley Non Fusion Area, and Boo Woo Woo. That's three Boo Woo's in a row. Can we keep the streak, the Boo Woo streak going? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. We got Chaptrix Sarah, Black Luster Soldier Envoy, Magician's Restage, Anabaru, and oh, we don't have Bururu this time. But that's okay. Onwards and upwards. Blast Tail by Destiny, Witchcrafter, Confusion Confession, Butuna for Princess, Non Fusion Area, Sword Soul, Sacred Summit. Into the next one. Keldo is getting a sleeve, Change of Heart, Geshadokuro, Legendary Ocean, and Cat Shark. Let's sleeve the Keldo while we can. I don't know, I said while we can, like we're running out of time to sleeve it or something. Self destructs if you don't sleeve it within 30 seconds. Totally awesome. Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon, Sword Soul of Tyre, Shark Cannon, and Cat Shark. Shout out to Card Merchant Hamilton for supplying me with this case oh triple tactics there we go um at a decent price helping your boy out make some videos on to the next pack we got sky strikers new door gonna sleeve dd savant entis and Riliona. let's sleeve up your boy Mudora. getting a a decent amount of those uh those uh, Ashizu cards, which is really nice. Iris Sword Soul, Soldier of Chaos with Sleeve, Scapegoat, Sacred Summit, Witchcrafter, Hain. Ooh, and there you go. I don't know why I was doing that with like my thumb and my pinky, just making it more difficult for myself. Okay, we got Cyber Rev System, Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon, Dark Crawling, Sword Soul of Tyre, and Shark Cannon. Next, Pekaruni. Witchcraft of Vasmadam, Aileron, Cat Shark, G Golem Token, Dragon Maid Change Over. On to your next boy. New Dora can sleeve it up. Yadagarasu, Sword Soul, Dark Soul, and Metal Reflex Slime. New Dora. I really do like that they're doing retrains of those old cards that never re well, as far as I know, never really saw play. Um, which is really cool. Calbeck is another one. Millennium Eyes Restrict is another one. Nightmare Phoenix, Foolish Return, Draco back getting a foil reprint. Millennium Eyes Restrict isn't actually another one. It just needs a sleeve. <laughs> My poor brain. Um, I might have opened uh, the Darkwing Blast case the same day that I'm recording this case opening. And my brain is a bit mush. Moye will sleeve Dark Soul Token, Shiranui, Solitaire, and Chaos Hunter. Killing the value of those, uh, well, not really killing the value, but it was getting a little pricey. Cyber Rev System, Aileron, Shark Cannon, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Dragon Made Changeover. There's a lot of packs here. I feel like we've opened a fair few already and there's still loads to go. Uh, Sword Soul Emergence, G Golden Token, Changeover, and the big bug, Doom Dozer. Next pack, Rooney. Vice Madame, Millennium Eyes Restrict will sleeve, Putunifal Princess, Non Fusion Area, and Sword Soul Sacred Summit. I'm sleeving things based on what the rough price is now, so if the prices have changed by the time this video comes out and you're like, why are you, whoops, why are you sleeving that weird card? That's why. I'm just working with, you know, the best knowledge that I have available at the time. Uh, we got Pendulum Fall. Heldo can have a sleeve, Entis. Multi roll and Doom Dozer. Get Keldo tucked into bed there. Next, Pakaru. This one is Blast Held by Destiny, Sword Soul Emergence, Ray, Vampire's Curse, and instantly fuse with all your cards. Ice Dragon's Prison. That one. Hayate, Creation, and Strife. 
All right, Hellback right off the bat, and Black Luster Soldier. We'll just leave those two up. Your Tuna for Princess, Witchcraft again. Yet to see a Pharaoh's Rare, which actually do look really cool. It's kind of like hieroglyphics running down the image of the card, so I'm definitely keen to pull one of those. Although, some of the cards they've chosen for Pharaoh's Rares are... Well, they leave a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. Things like, uh, what was it? The True Name. Who wants that as a Pharaoh's Rare? No one wants that as an Ultra Rare. Pendulum Call, Afterglow Dragon, Bull, Cerberus, Hajin the Winged Mayakashi. Lightning Storm, we'll take it. Zeke, Mayakashi Return, Sword Soul of Tyre, Secret Village, and that's it. So Lightning Storm is a Pharaoh's Rare, or available as a Pharaoh's Rare, which is odd because it already has a Starlight and a Collector's Rare. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh. Skill Drain will sleeve up, Sword Soul Emergence, Ching Ying, Kagari, and Mizuki. So it's like, what is the highest rarity Lightning Storm? I mean, obviously it's Starlight Rare. Starlight Rare, then Collector's Rare, then Pharaoh's Rare, maybe? I don't know. Agito can have, oh, and Triple Tactics can have a sleeve as well. Ducky, Hero Lives, and goes in match. Definitely seems like the good cards are at the front. It's like good one or two cards at the front, um, which is really nice. We like it. On to the next one. We've got Change of Heart, Chi Shao, Onimabaru, Nichikata Hain, and Gashidakuro. Next pack Confusion Confession, Cyber Rev System, Engage, Restage, and Kixing Long One. Surgical Striker Hamp, evenly matched. I will take that, putting that straight in the sleeve. That's a set of evenlies for me. I like it. We got Non Fusion Area, Bururu, and Butuna Full Princess. On to the next one. Imperm straight away, we'll sleeve that one. Anti Spell, Dark Calling, and Restage. We're getting some really nice reprints. Like these are, these are solid cards. As a person who is about to undertake playing an Exosister deck, I appreciate the evenly reprint. We got a Lightning Storm, we got Linkage, Doomdozer, Riliona, and Draco back in its foil printing. I also appreciate Lightning Storms because I sold mine before the reprint in the Megatons because I didn't need them anymore. New Dora, uh, and didn't pick any up after the Megatons. Kind of glad I didn't now because I was planning on it. Um, but they will go down in price even more, which is nice. And I prefer to play lowest rarity, uh, which will be the ones out of this pack. Oh my gosh. Oh, destroying the pack, destroying the camera, just all over the place. Yatagarasu, Harpy's Feather Duster, Sword Soul Blackout, Witchcraft Agini, and Sword Soul Blackout. Again, why do I keep kidding packs with two blackouts in them? Can someone please explain this to me? Because I don't understand. <laughs> what is it with Sword Soul Blackout? Konami really wants me to have plenty of copies of Sword Soul Blackout, I guess. Could they do that with, like, Lightning Storm or something? I'd be very appreciative. Imperm will sleeve up. Cheng Ying, Kagari, and Mizuki. Chuck that guy in there. On to the next pack. We got Exchange of Despair and Hope. Bottle Sword. Blue Eyes is in this? <gasps> wait a minute! No, wait. No, no, no. Wait, is it? Is this a Pharaoh's Rare? Yeah, it is. What? <laughs> I, I'm like confused. Does it normally have... Hold on. Hold on. Pause. I'll be back. Yo, it is. Yeah, we got a Pharaoh's Rare. Wow, that's really subtle. I was just like, hold on a minute. I don't recall Blue Eyes having the, the hieroglyphics in the back. So, yeah, we got a, a Pharaoh's Rare. That's crazy. Um... I didn't actually know Blue Eyes was even in the set, let alone available as a Pharaoh's Rare, so I'm gonna sleeve that up and I'm gonna top loader it as well. A Pharaoh's Rare Blue Eyes, that looks awesome actually, that's really cool. That's a great card to have as a Pharaoh's Rare, compared to the true name and stuff like that. Yeah, I will absolutely take that, the first Pharaoh's Rare I've ever pulled. So it was in the middle of the pack, I'm gonna have to like, because I barely noticed the the hieroglyphics this is kind of like surprised to see blue eyes was what made me kind of pause so i feel like i'm gonna have to go back over some of the other cards that i've pulled and be like is there any hieroglyphics on here <laughs> yeah wow that's awesome i'm i'm stoked with that Heldio there um yeah wow i will take it
I would hazard a guess too, just with the nature of obviously blue eyes, like, yeah, that'll be a really good Pharaoh's rare to get because I don't think Blue Eyes has had a Starlight Rare or anything, but yeah, Pharaoh's Rare suits it really well. That's that's a really nice idea, actually. I like that. Stoked with that because I'm not sure how often the Heroes Rare, the Pharaoh's Rares, um, are pulled. I don't know if it's one per case or or what, but I'm gonna count myself super lucky because that's yeah, that's really nice. I might even keep that. I'm unsure. Let's see how much. <laughs> Mudora, Anibari Soul, Hain, Gashidakuro, we'll sleeve the Mudora. Alright. I mean, can we get any more Pharaoh's Rares? <laughs> Yukiona, Triple Tactics Talent, we'll take Non Fusion Area, Sacred Summit, and Savant Keeper. So it looks like those first two slots are for the good cards, and then the middle slot is for a potential Pharaoh's Rares. So I will be keeping an eye on any of those other cards. We've got Appaloosa, that's great. Abyss Dragon is great as well. Lion Prisoning Mirror, and uh, we'll sleeve these two up. Abyss Dragon was a pretty expensive card as well. It didn't really have any business being, it was just because it was Blue Eyes support. Um, but didn't really, not, I mean, good Blue Eyes support, sure, but not like Blue Eyes is actually a decent deck, so. Sorry to <laughs> Blue Eyes players out there, not meaning to shit on your deck. On to the next pack. Incredible Ecclesia, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow, Engage, Instant Fusion, Gashidokuro. I wonder if the rest of the normal monster trio is in here with Dark Magician and Red Eyes. Blast out by a tribute, totally. Legendary Awesome, Ocean, Cat Shark, and Dark Soul Token. Dragon Necro near the Soul Dragon, Despair and Hope, Kagari. Oh, no, 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 no. No hieroglyphics on that one. Just, you know, just thought for a second, I thought I saw something there. Hello, open up. There we go. Right, we go. Toad. Ace token, Mayakashi return, Soul Soul Attire, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Next pack. We got Mudora straight away, Blast Held by Destiny, Savant Keeper, Entis, and Riliona. Crazy, we got a Pharaoh's Rare. <laughs> that is so cool. And it's blue eyes. It's like the most recognized card in the whole game. Blast Held by Destiny. Exchange of Spear and Hope, Ching Ying, Zaki, and Foolish Return. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Dragon Necron, Nether Soul Dragon, Chi Shao, Solitaire, Chaos Hunter, and Shark Cannon. On to Emergence, Confusion Confession, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Changeover, and Ching Ying. Next pack will be Harpy's Feather Duster. Hamp, Non-Fusion Area, Sacred Summit, and Savant Keeper. We're starting to get down in the packs now. Slowly but surely. Ghost Meets Girl, Sword Soul Emergence, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Dark Calling, and Magician's Restage. On to the next pack. We got Linkage, Despair and Hope, Foolish Return, Engage, and Restage. Engage and Restage. Right, next one, we've got Caldeo to sleeve up, Pendulum Call, Light Imprisoning, Eternal Princess, and Jenny. Jenny, Guinea, Guinea, Jenny? Hi, my name is Guinea. <laughs> next pack. Don't know why I laughed at that. Ignore me. We got a Caldeo to sleeve up, Ice Dragon's Prison, Mayakashi Return, Tyre, and Secret Village. We get a nice, good, solid amount of these Ashizu cards. That's very nice. Uh, Incredible Ecclesia, Ice Dragon's Prison, Kagari, Mizuki, and Daki. Keep going back to this right hand side because it needs evening out. Aileron, Lightning Storm, we will take Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Dragon Mage Changeover, and a Sword Soul Boy there. Chuck Lightning Storm in a sleeve. On to the next one. Go, open up. Open up for me. Boral Sword Dragon, Sky Striker Race Token, Peaksing Long On, Ocean and Solitaire. On to the next one. Blast Held by, whoop, Destiny, Confusion Confession, Ambulamades, Exchange of the Spirit, and Mizuki. I was humming and hiring about getting a whole case of this, and I'm really glad that I did now with the, with the Pharaoh's Rear. That is awesome. Uh, hopefully it's worth loads and loads of money. <laughs> 
Um, because, you know, I always need to try and make as much money as I can back on these openings. Um, so that I can keep doing them. If I lose too much money, you know, it's not like I'm getting any revenue from YouTube or anything like that. So, um, it's always nice when we get those big pulls. And obviously, it makes it more exciting for you to see. If this is a blackout behind here, why? Why? Every time, why? We get two blackouts per pack. Why? I want to know. Someone call Konami. Someone who's under work with Konami, call them. Because I want to know why I keep getting two blackouts in every pack that I pull a blackout in. I did two for the price of one. And it's annoying me. I, um, yeah. I think it's every pack so far. Ghost meets girl, here it is. Every pack that there's been a blackout in anyway. Which I think is three times we've, that's happened to us. Yuki Yona, Pendulum Call, Anti-Spell, Dark Calling, Magician's Restage. It's just odd, man. It's just odd. Flowers of Us Dragon, Incredible Ecclesia, Entis, Riliona, and Scapegoat. Sleeve it up. Sleeve it up. On to the next one. Linkage, Despair and Hope, Kagari, Mizuki, Daka, Daki. There we go, Daki. Next one, Witchcraft Advice Madame, Millennium Eyes Will Sleeve, Shizuku, Long One, and Dark Calling. Alrighty, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, that one, Onimabaru, Hain, and Gashadakuru. Sarah, Exchange of Despair and Hope, Kagari, Cerberus, and Creation. So I'm keeping a close eye on those middle cards. Keldo! Kel, Kel, yeah, Keldo. Borrow Sword. Sword Soul Assessment. Dark Soul Token. Metal Reflex Line. I don't know why I thought it was Keldeo for a minute, but Keldeo is a Pokemon, not a Yu Gi Oh card, so that will be why. Galaxy Eyes After Glow Dragon. Dragon Necro. Yep, that one. Uh, and Sword Soul Summit. Hain and Sword Soul Assessment. So we don't get double ups of the other Sword Soul Trap, Sword Soul Assessment. It's just Blackout. Gravekeeper's Trap, I should sleeve that actually. Anamabaru, Hain, and Gashadakura. I should start sleeving those because according to my sources, it's worth a little a bit of coinage. So, you know, it's always nice. Saves me having to go dig through for them later. Long one, Metal Reflex Slime, and a Hero Lives getting a nice foil reprint. For the first time in a little while, I think. Oh, Skelly Drain. We'll sleeve that up. Skill Drain's always a nice, a nice card to pull. It's pretty good at three as well, especially with Red Rebook on now. Pendulum Call. Appaloosa will sleeve. Tire, Shark Cannon, Cat Shark. Appaloosa, also a really nice reprint. That was much needed. That and Selene. I always get them confused for some reason. Um, but Appaloosa and Selene both needed strong reprints. Gravekeeper Strap, Hayate, Creation, and Strife. Oh, Strife. Alright, I've restructured, so we've got two stacks left. So it's a bit easier to see. Sword Soul Emergence, Hamp, Kixing Longyon, Entis, and Multiroll. I'm going to pick on this left side for a bit, because there's more in it than on the right. Gravekeeper's Trap, Blast Held by Destiny. I swear those two are together quite often. Hayate. Creation. Whoops, I knocked down the last Gravekeeper's Trap. We seem to pull that a lot, so I don't think it's probably actually going to be too much, but sleeve it anyway. Why not? Exchange of Despair and Hope, Confusion Confession, Sword Soul Strife, Bull Ain, and Cerberus. Next one, we got Cyber Rev System, Ice Dragon's Prison, Hajin, Non Fusion Area, and Boo Roo Roo into another pack surprise surprise harpy's feather duster hemp eternal princess non-fusion area and sacred summit we went for a cheeky right side this time ghost meets girl sword soul of moe will sleeve legendary ocean cat shark and dark soul token shout out to dark souls the game never played it <laughs> never played it because honestly it just looks a bit miserable looks not it looks too hard is what it looks like it looks like i would have a bad time with it so just never bothered to pick it up yes i am a wuss i guess another color ice dragon's prison guinea mayakashi return and sword soul of tire into another pack could we possibly get another pharaoh's rare 
Yukiona, Pendulum Call, Secret Village, Anti Spell Fragrance, and Dark Calling. Into Yadagarasu, Harpy's Feather Duster, A Hero Lives, Goes and Match, and Didi Savant Keeper. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, Hemp, Magician's Restage, Aminabaru, and Hain. Pendulum Call, Yukiona, Shirinui Solitaire, Chaos Hunter, and Shark Cannon. Into another evenly will sleeve a Zeke, Gesha de Kuro, Legendary Ocean, and Meow, Cat Shark. <laughs> but we're at that point of the video where my brain just turns to mash. Aileron, Vice Madame, Shadow Imprisoning Mara, Dragon Maid, and that one. And then I can't, my brain starts to not be able to keep up with my hands, and then, you know. Ghost Meets Girl, Calvin is nice, which. Dark Soul Token, Shiranui Solitaire, and Chaos Hunter. Kalbeck, get in the sleeve, man. Right. On to the next pack. We got Trap Trick Sarah, Black Luster Soldier. Oh, we all know what's coming. Wow, a Sword Soul Blackout. <laughs> Why? Is it a meme that I'm like, blacking out the last card? I don't know. Lightning Storm is nice. Shark Cannon, Shadow Imprisoning, and Changeover will sleeve up these two. We got another evenly match, that's really nice. Zeke, Legendary Ocean, Cat Shark, and Dark Soul Token. Yeah, there's a lot of these cards like Cat Shark that had value, and they won't be having value anymore. It's getting the, the ghost from the past. Keldo, Change of Heart, Shizuku, Long One, Dark Calling. Keldo can get in a sleeve. Get, get in a sleeve. Let's put that up there and that there so it's a bit more out of the way. Next, Pacaroonie. Dragon Necron, Evertoll Dragon, Moe, Type, uh, Shark Cannon, Cat Shark, Pardon Me. Wow. Alrighty. Next package of cards is Black Luster Soldier and a Lightning Storm again, Shadow and Prisoner. I feel like whoop, that was a very similar pack to the last one that had both of those two in it. But hey, I mean, I'll, I'll take those packs all day. Let's get this one that fell down. Lightning Storm is always very tasty. Alright, Ghost Meets Girl, Hellbeck is nice, Shiranui Solitaire, Chaos Hunter, Shark Cannon. Sleeve that Kalbeck up. On to the next pack. Is there another Pharaoh's Rare hiding in here? We got a Zook, an Imperm, a Kagari, Mizuki, and Ducky. Imperm, get in there. Get in that sleeve. On to the next one. We got Rev System, Aileron, G Golem Token, Changeover. And the big old buggy boy. Next pack. Confusion, Confusion, Ace Token, Hero Lives, Goes and Match, Savant Keeper. Do you keep your Savants at home? I do. I keep them in my basement. Number 93, Blast Out by Destiny, Entis, Riliona, and Skepe Goat. On to Midora, Blast Out by Destiny, Entis. Riliona and Scape go out again. Sleeve up the Mudora. Next Pacaroon. Come on, give us another cheeky Pharaoh's rare, wouldn't ya? Witchcraft a hand and assessment. There were a lot of sword soul cards in that pack. Next pack. Toad, Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon, Sacred Summit, Hain, and Assessment again. We are getting down into the last little bit. Gravekeeper's trap. Blast hell by Destiny, the token, the middle reflex slime, and the nightmare phoenix. Chomping away. Oh, the glue on that one was weird. Nom 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 nom. Exchange of despair and hope, confusion, confession, foolish return, Draco back, and Ray Romano. Everybody loves Ray. Sword Soul Grandmaster Chisha, Sword Soul Emergence, Dark Soul Token, Middle Reflex Slime, and Nightmare Phoenix. Phoenix always looks weird to me, um, just the way it's spelled. It's like, why is it Phoenix instead of just like P H E N A X? In fact, why isn't it F E N A X? Sword Soul Emoye, Pendulum Call, Duke, and Shizuku, and Hayato. There we go. Getting all the Sky Striker links there. On to the next boy. 
we got Yukiana, Aileron, Vampire's Curse, Dark Calling, and Scapego it. Let's see what's hiding in here. Harpies, Feather Duster, Hamp, Multi-Roll, Gozen Match, and Hagen. Alright. Onwards and upwards, let's see what we got. We got Vice Madame, Incredible Ecclesia, Marikashi Return, G Golem, and Exchange of the Spirit. Would you exchange your spirit with someone else? Destroyed that pack. Dragon Necro, No Yay, Anti Spell, Whoop, Sword Soul Strife, and Chaos Hunter. Okay. We are nearly there. Is there a sneaky little Pharaoh's Rare hiding in here for us? Another one before we wrap up for the day? That would be pretty tasty. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm more than happy with the one that we got. That is awesome. But, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to a second one. Someone said, hey, would you would you want another Pharaoh's Rare? I'm not saying no. Appaloosa is really nice. Vice Madame, Duke, Shizuku, and Hay We keep getting Shizuku and Hayate in, like, back to back, hanging out with each other. Are they mates? Are they good friends? Vice Madame, Cyber Rev System, G Golem Token, Dragon May Changeover, and Big Ol' Buggy Boy Doom Dozer. Into another Cyber Rev System, and evenly, Vampire's Curse, Start Calling, and Scarpe Go At. On to the next pack. Come on, let's get some taste. Sarah, Despair and Hope. Black Cross is all the chaos. Wait, hold up. Pause. <laughs> so, something caught my eye while I was editing this video. As we can see, this Black Cluster Soldier was in that middle slot in the pack. And although you can't really tell in the video, I've gone back and checked. It is indeed another Pharaoh's Rare. So we actually got two Pharaoh's Rares in one case. That is insane. Uh, so I am super stoked. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I just didn't notice when we were recording. It's it's such a subtle change to the card. Uh, but yeah, two Pharaoh's Rares in a case, and it's another really cool one. So uh, anyway, back to the video. It's Nightmare Phoenix and Foolish Return. We'll sleeve the BLS up. All right. Maybe about 10 packs left, roughly. Pendulum Call, Skelly Drain, Draco Back, Sky Striker Ray, and Light Imprisoning Mirror. You've got to trap that light. On to the next pack. Haven't had a, uh, a, what do you call it? A Shizu card for a while, actually, now that I think about it. Well, throwing this pack around. It's gone a bit cold on the old Shizu card front. Black Buster Soldier, Bururu, Assessment, and Multi Roll. We did do, we started off pretty well. We got a lot of them, so I can't really complain. Yata, Feather Duster, Chunjun, Bull, and Widow Anchor. Widow Anchor, can I just say, really needed a reprint. Like, that card got really expensive for a while there. Keldo, there we go. Got another of the Ishizu cards, just when I was starting to get worried. Just looking after me. Looking after me, this opening. So kind. Exchange. Infinite Impermanence, Dark Soul Token, Metal Reflex Slime, and Nightmare Phoenix. Imperm sleeved and ready to go. Right, Iris Sword Soul, Black Luster Soldier, Entis, Multi Roll, and Doom Dozer. Is this Impermanence's third ultra rare printing? Because it was. It was originally a secret rare. I feel like it's had two ultra rares already. We got the Mudora and stuff um i'm trying to think i know it was dual power was there a dual overload one as well i think there might have been calvin nice million eyes restrict nice bull ain cerberus and hagen we'll sleeve those fellas right up yeah i think it did have a dupo and a do of printing and now it's got a Mama printing. Can I just shout out the set code in here? Mama. <laughs> it's uh, whoever, whoever like decided on the set name for English knew that this pack was going to be full of female cards, <laughs> the Sky Strikers and things, because they called it Mama. All right, down to our final two packs. 
Let's see what goodies are inside Ice Dragon's Prison, Surgical Striker, Hamp, Non-Fusion, Buru Ruby, Tuna for Princess, and our final pack. Is there another Ferris Rare hiding in here for us to go out on a high? Let's find out. We got Millennium Eyes Restrict is a good pull, pull Pendulum Call, Multi-Roll, Goes and Match, and Heijin the Winged Mayakashi. Alright, we can quickly go over some of the main cards that we got. Okay, so our main pulls from a case of Magnificent Maidens. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Appaloosa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Infinite Impermanence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Evenly Matched. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Skilly Drains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Lightning Storms. 1, 2, 3, 4, Triple Tactics Talents. Stop sliding all over the place, please. Now, onto our Ashizu cards. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Keldo, the Sacred Protectors, which is amazing. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Mudora, the Sword Oracle. And then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard. And one, two, three, four, Agido, the Ancient Sentinel. So Agido is a third likely to pull as Keldo. So interesting. But anyway, we don't stop there. We have our Pharaoh's Rare Blue Eyes. That's just on the on the top loader. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Pharaoh's Rare, absolutely beautiful. That looks really nice. It really suits it, actually. I feel like that's quite natural looking. It, it looks like it should be part of the original card art. So we can't complain. What a opening. So guys, that will do it for this video. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos just like it. That will do us for today. I will see you in the next video.